and I've always enjoyed uh, taking pictures. It was basically about spontaneity. So every time I'd been traveling, I've been using my camera for a long time, for many years now. And that is where I started taking pictures of people on the street. So that got me more and more interested and that's where my street photography really took off. In 2013, I decided to do this course with this gentleman called JMSL. That's where it really honed, honed my skill of being able to tell a good picture from a bad picture. The pictures I took at that point of time during the course in New York versus the pictures that I'm taking now and what I'm seeing through my eyes now is completely different. One thing that he taught us, he said, you know, you have to always be ready with your camera. So every time you step out of your home, you have to go with your, you have to travel with your camera. When I'm traveling out, even if it's a business trip, I have my camera with me at all times. Every time there's a break, I go off early morning to shoot, I go late evening to shoot. Even if it's just for a brief lunch or something like that, we walk into a restaurant cafe, I'm taking pictures. And my favorite place actually to shoot is actually New York. I absolutely love walking the streets of New York, you know, walking in those uh, crowded streets. Yeah, I use uh, three main cameras. So when I'm doing the street photography, that point of time I'm using a Leica M240, which is actually a very, uh, it's a very compact camera, but it's a very, very effective camera and it's a manual focus. I use a Nikon D4 when I'm doing concerts or uh, uh, functions like that. And I use a DF when I'm doing more travel, where I need the autofocus function and I can't do with the manual focus. If I'm going for concert, then these cameras don't work. Then I need a professional, full-on professional camera. Nikon D4 and a Nikon uh, DF. There is a new camera which I know that's coming out by Leica, which is going to be later this year. The problems that this Leica camera has, I think those are going to be eliminated with the new camera that's coming out. So I'm waiting for that one. And I've had uh, friends who've seen me do this and have now taken up hobbies where they're trying to follow their passions. So when we get into work, you know, when we've got into all our daily stresses and business and, you know, travel, and we've got so much of stuff going on, you have to have a passion. I mean, you have to have something that is going to give you a break from all your day-to-day -day stresses. When I've got a camera in my mind and I'm taking a photograph of everything, of something, nothing else matters. There is nothing else in my mind at that point of time. It's absolutely important to have passions, but I do realize that, you know, to some people, passions may come early in their lives, and to some people, it may come late. For me, it actually started, you know, at a fairly late stage in my life. I didn't have any idea of exhibiting my pictures. So I was talking to Vadera Art, to Roshni Vadera at Vadera Art and telling her that, listen Roshni, I know this guy, he's a fantastic photographer. He's done a book on India. He's shot in India for six months. He shoots all over the world. Why don't you do an exhibition with him? So she said, okay, on one condition that I do an exhibition, you're part of that exhibition as well. I said, look, I'm not ready for it. And she says, no, absolutely you are. I've seen your works. I would want you to do a counter this thing. So Craig shows his work of India seen by American in more black and white. You show your works of New York mainly in bright, vibrant colors, and you are an Indian who's showing at this thing. So it's a very different eye looking at both sides of the thing. So I thought about it for a while. I said, okay, fine, I'm willing to give it a shot if you're willing to take that kind of a risk. The exhibition went fabulously well. So I should be able to do something in the near future, but I don't have a deadline yet. I don't have a date yet. I don't have a theme yet. And I don't know where I'm going to do it. I would love to do something at some point, but uh, I don't know just when.